Hi, I'm Dr. Katie. I'm both a medical doctor and a breast cancer survivor. And today I'm just going to talk a bit about, you know, going from cancer survivor to um, a general practitioner in training. I'm, I'm almost done with my training. I have about a year left. Um, you know, I got cancer in the middle of my journey. So I had finished medical school. I'd, I was two years out of medical school when I was diagnosed. I was working as a resident medical officer. So in Australia, you train generally. Um, you work across all these different specialties initially um, for a year or two. Um, so everything from general medicine to surgery to emergency. Um, I also did obstetrics, gynecology, pediatrics, mental health. Um, and then I settled on initially working in mental health. And it was right before I started that mental health training journey that I was diagnosed with cancer. And um, when I finished my treatments a year later, I decided to do general practice for a variety of reasons. I had always wanted to work in general practice, which in, in America is equivalent to family medicine and psychiatry. Um, there are a lot of, of, of my mental health patients that didn't have good family medicine doctors and um, I, for a variety of reasons, wanted to do both. And so I started working as a general practitioner and certainly you don't have to have cancer or a significant medical disease um, to be a good doctor, but I know that my experience as a patient really has informed um, how I practice as a doctor. Um, I want to provide my patients with patient-centered care, do as much shared decision-making as we can, empower people to live their best life, um, to make sure that we have the conversations that you need to have to understand how we can make the best decisions for their health care better, better together. So, you know, what matters to them, what's important to them, how they define wellness, how do they define what living their best life is, what are their goals? And at the end of the day, we're trying to maximize health to support those things. Um, and, and understanding that those things may change over time. Um, it's important to understand what people's most important relationships are. And, um, you know, do as much as we can to provide holistic care and health prevention. Um, and give people the space to live their journey um, and their life. You know, it, it's not realistic sometimes for everyone to to take, you know, all the advice in, for example. It's important to understand what's realistic and to take it a day at a time and know that change happens with time. Habits form with time. Um, and quality of life um, each day is just as important as, as longevity is. And understanding what that means and what that looks like for a patient really varies from patient to patient. Um, and it can vary over time, as I would mentioned. So I think that because of my um, experience with cancer, I am a better doctor. Um, and I try. There are a lot of things about the health system that stand in my way to provide the kind of um, health care I want to at times. And that's part of why I'm doing all the social media is to provide um, my patients um, with as much holistic care as possible. Um, so as I continue my journey, um, certainly my own life experience has informed how I, how I am as a doctor, and that evolves. And um, another thing that I think is really important is to, to ask your patients, what do you need? What can I do better? Get feedback, change, um, and, and evolve as a practitioner. Um, and I think another um, really important quality to have whether you're a doctor or you work in another profession or just to be a good human is to have self-awareness and to create, create an, an environment around you where people feel comfortable coming up to you and communicating whatever they think or feel about um, your behavior um, and having relationships that focus on um, strengthening and them and growing together as, as people um, having relationships professionally and personally where 
there um, is unconditional love and support in um, the current moment for whatever the current person um, is doing or um, what they are like in this moment but this then also giving them the hope and the support and the space to evolve in and grow into their best self and uh, I think that's important in any sort of relationship whether it's with myself or with my loved ones or with my patients um, so wherever you are in your journey I hope that you're happy and um, you're hanging in there um, these are hard times. Thank you.